Meet Swamplenix, my Mauritania locked ultimate Iron Man. After recently maxing my ultimate Iron Man, I decided to up the ante. To forge my own journey from scratch. No banking, no trading, but this time, I can't leave Mauritania. All leading up to eventually taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. Rannis Draken is dead. After 44 days of using XP lamps and then several more weeks striving for the completion of Taste of Hope, I can now train construction. Although I had a way to teleport into my house, I had no way of getting back to Mauritania, and the Draken's medallion made everything possible. In episode 8, I hit the jackpot. I got my first piece of Barrow's equipment on a lucky 1.7% chance. But since then, it broke, and at the end of this episode, I want to be wearing my first piece of tier 70 gear. First, I need 55 construction to build the repair stand, and that is a lot harder than it sounds. So, we have a problem, which is a big mood killer while riding this high from the Rannis Draken fight. Obviously, construction is the way forward here, a repair stand is very critical, but there are two things that you always need on you in order to train construction. You need a hammer and a saw. The hammer is no problem, of course, it's the saw that's the tricky part. You see, you'd figure that Razmir's builder shop in Morton would sell a saw, but he only has hammers. There are three total ways to get a saw in RuneScape. You can pick one up at the estate agent house, you can buy it from the Varrock Sawmill, or you can get it from your house, from Tool Store 1. Tool Store 1 requires 15 construction, which I managed to get from the Darkness of Hallowvale quest. Perfect, but you need a saw to build the thing that I can get a saw from, so you can probably see the problem here. This leaves us with the next best option, the final exception. Since coming to Mauritania, I made one exception, which was to talk to King Roald for Darkness of Hallowvale, and this saw will be my second and final exception I will ever make. There's just no other way to get it, and after I buy one saw, I can make Tool Store 1, and from there on out, I will have access to infinite saws. So, it's time to pull the trigger. So building Tool Store 1 is going to be the top priority, and Tool Store 1, just like a lot of other things that you're about to see, requires oak planks. Two oak planks for tool store one and then also every upgrade after that. If we take a look at the wiki real quick, we'll see that the only way to get oak planks in Mauritania is by killing zombies level 40 to 56. And I'm not just gonna have to camp these for two oak planks, I'm gonna have to camp them for probably about 30 in total. And you can imagine that this probably isn't gonna be a very short thing to do. If we take a look inside Razmir's shop real quick, uh, he does sell planks for, yeah, one coin each, which is incredible. Uh, that is going to be really, really cheap construction training, so after I make Tool Store 1, that is what I'm going to start with. There we go, one plank down and only one to go. You know, I completely forgot about those, but I'm going to need quite a few of them. I still only have one oak plank. I found a room with only one zombie in it, a level 50 zombie, so... I'm gonna stay in this room, should be the best one to camp with, maybe there's a better room, I don't know. Yes, the dopamine plank, I'll be making a return here eventually. The repair stand itself needs 8 oak planks, so I'll be spending a lot more time here later. Uh, what I have to do now is I need to get 40 magic. Alright, any one of these at this point, come on, there it is, 40 magic achieved. We can now teleport to our humble home and train construction. I will eventually need to get 41, but for now, that is all we need, there it is. To train construction, I'm gonna have to teleport to my house a lot, which means I'm gonna need a lot of law runes, so before I leave the druids, it's time to stock up. Just hit 69 defense, I've been here for a couple hours, and I now have over 100 law runes. I'm not really sure if this will be enough, but if it's not, it's really easy to come back here and get more, so... It's time to do the, the unfortunate act. I really hate doing this, man. It makes me feel so dirty, so so impure, but it has to be done. Stupid Razmir wouldn't sell me a saw. I'm glad this is the final exception. The purity is damaged, but it will recover over time, and this is definitely necessary for everything that I want to do. And we're out of there. Alright, cool. All I have to do now is build tool store one, and we can drop this tainted saw. Alright, so first things first, let's build the workshop here, and I believe I could just build it at any one of the tool store slots. Wait. Wait a sec. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> it just disappeared. 
Oh, okay. It just it just got rotated to the west for some reason. But there we go. We can now grab infinite saws from this tool rack. That's awesome. And of course, when we're done, we can just teleport straight back with our medallion. There we go. We're home. Yay. So it's time to get down to some serious construction training. This is going to be one of the longest grinds I've ever done. And I don't know the rates specifically, but just mapping it out in my head, it's going to be a bit difficult. <laughs> This is what my current construction path looks like. Every 20 minutes, I'll be able to use the Shades of Morton minigame teleport, but while that cools down, I'll have to take the walk from the Theater of Blood to the Birderot boat, then walk to Morton and buy a full inventory of construction supplies. When I teleport to my house, I'll be able to gain about 400 XP and then teleport out and repeat the process. Once I get 33 construction, it should speed up, but I'm estimating over 30 hours for 55 construction. So one thing that I completely overlooked is the amount of nails I need for this grind. Uh, regular planks obviously need nails, so I'm gonna make a bunch of steel nails real quick. Uh, not as many as I need, but I wanna see how much on average I'm using. It is fantastic that these planks are so cheap though. I mean, in theory, I could get 55 construction for like no cost at all. Which, by the way, if you want to make some money, they're 270 GP, you can buy them for one. So I thought that I could just claim my saw and hammer from the tool store every single time I teleport to my house, but it turns out I completely forgot that you can't drop things in building mode. So even if I drop them here, they're just going to disappear when I go into building mode, so I have to keep my hammer and saw on me at all times, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh man, these early levels are going to fly by. The only thing that I'm seeing so far is I just used 25 nails on three chairs. All right, so we're on to temple trekking, which is going to be my best way of getting coal and iron for the steel bars. And in fact, medium treks should be way better for this. Usually easy treks are the meta, but I'm pretty sure medium treks are actually gonna be the way to go from here. All right, here we go. So medium trek token, and this should, oh, that is so much better. See right there, that's 22 steel bars from one medium trek, while usually you get only seven from an easy, so. Mediums should be a lot better for this. And that is from a hard track. 66 coal and 32 iron from a hard track. That is amazing. All right, we'll do a couple more. I did this inventory incorrectly, but at least I'll know next time that I can just drop steel bars and then make more steel bars and then I'll have the full 14 slots instead of just coming here with nine. So that should speed up the process quite a bit. This walk back is very brutal because not only can the fire watch stop you to blood tithe you, but also everything has an animation. So it's a lot slower than it looks. 36 smithing. Oh, this is the end. Oh man, this took so much longer than I thought, but we also are very close to 37 smithing. I got a couple levels, so that's awesome. Over 1600 steel nails have been made. All right. we. Are are finally ready to actually start training construction. There have been so many obstacles. All right, it's time to sacrifice the Addy Axe. Having an extra plank on me for these trips is going to make such a huge difference because I can build four bookshelves instead of three. So it's just gonna speed my XP up a lot. And in the long run, it's definitely gonna be worth it. I don't really have a use for the Axe at the moment anyway. So it's it's definitely for a good cause. I think it's a good choice. Also going to drop the Avondus Flail, I think. Oh no, my child is on the ground. It hurts. But it's definitely going to be worth it. This grind is going to take so long that every extra plank is just going to save me so much time. We are making moves, my friends. 20 construction has been achieved. That is, oh, that is such a marginal portion of what I need to do. I just, I need to do that like 150 more times and then we're good. 25 construction. This is probably the most useful level since 15. So we can now build tool store two. All of the tool stores are pretty niche. They have like their little niche uses. Uh, tool store four is the most important one, but until then, tool store two is pretty cool. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm so happy. It's a great day. We got a lamp and this is gonna be two lamps away from two hunter. I expect everyone to show up to my two hunter party. I did just get 30 construction and uh, with 23 construction, you can make wooden shelves three. And with wooden shelves three, the cup that you take from the shelf and make tea with actually gives you a plus two construction boost. Now I was aware of the construction boosting tea, but I was pretty sure that only the oak ones actually gave you a boost, but it turns out 
Wooden shelves 3, made from regular planks, give you a plus 2 boost instead of the plus 3 from the oak shelves. This is incredible news because now I only have to get 53 construction and not 55. That's 30,000 XP I don't have to do. Alright, the magic level 33 construction, which means I can now move on to the stone fireplaces. I think I'm going to continue with the planks for a little while longer because A, I made so many nails, and B, I don't have enough money to continue with limestone bricks all the way to 53, so I'm just going to continue with planks until about 30, 35, 36, and then I will move on to the limestone bricks because there's actually something that I need to get before I start making those fireplaces. 35 construction, another fantastic level because this unlocks tool store 3, yet another dopamine store. We get so many different tools. So with 35 construction, I'm going to move on to the fireplaces, but there is one thing that I need before I can actually start building them, at least efficiently. I need a flam tier bag, which a lot of you probably don't even know what that is, but that's why I'm here. Flam tier bag is obtained from the Shades of Morn minigame, and it can hold up to 60 limestone bricks. So imagine instead of having 18 inventory slots for bricks, I can carry up to 78. That was so lucky, oh my god, that, okay, I am no stranger to limestone construction, I've done about 150 hours of it on my main, every single time that I've gotten this bag it has taken me over like 20 chests to do so, so, very happy with that, we can now improve our rates like tenfold, it's gonna be amazing. While I was doing construction, a friend of mine pointed something out to me, something I've been oblivious to for quite some time now. I've been walking past this one spot so many times. See if you can spot it in this clip from episode 10. That right there, that little red dot on the minimap holds an obscene amount of potential, and the person who found it, as far as I know, goes by the name Mauritania HC. That little red dot is a static small fishing net spawn, and there are an infinite number of them. The possibilities from this one spawn are unreal, but first I wanted to figure out why it was here, was it always here, and if not, who put it here, and why? I decided to do some digging, and I found this Taste of Hope quest guide from December 11th, 2018, and if you take a look at this frame's minimap, no red dot. There's no fishing net there on December 11th. This net had to have been added sometime around mid-December to late January, as I saw it in my clip from episode 10. I found zero evidence of the net being added in update logs and not a single acknowledgement in any news post. I found zero evidence of anyone at all asking for it to be put in the game on Twitter or Reddit. I searched through hundreds of mod ash replies, not a single mention of a small fishing net being proposed in any sort of way. Nothing adds up. No one asked for it. I haven't even mentioned it on this series before until now, so the mystery of the fishing net is one thing that I just can't seem to figure out. So what does this do for me? Anyway, why is it such a big deal? I've mentioned before that I'm currently lamping to 27 Hunter, which is a 10 month process to catch baby implings for a ball of wool. Originally, this was going to be my stopping point. I wasn't going to go past 27 Hunter, but now with access to a net, I could catch swamp lizards at 29 Hunter. I am going to get 99 Hunter on this account, unlocking ninja, dragon, and lucky implings. This is a gigantic discovery and yet no one knows why it happened. So here is the absolute gigantic brain strategy. Regular limestone is only 10 coins each. Uh, this is the unchiseled version while the chiseled finished version is 21 coins each. So I bought a chisel and with this not only do I save a lot of money but I'm also going to be able to get a ton of crafting XP on my way to 53 construction. And I just hit 42 construction, which means I can now build a costume room, one of the very few rooms that are actually useful to me. Am I really about to spend 50k on this? Yeah, why not? The only thing I can really do with this costume room is store a lumberjack set and also a full mystic set in the future. It's not that great of a room unless I eventually get my hands on teak or mahogany planks from Lucky Implings. All right, really big level. In fact, one of the biggest levels on the account of all time. Tool Store 4 is now unlocked with 44 construction. Tool Store 4 unlocks several different molds, including the bracelet mold, which is probably the most important one. With a bracelet mold, I can make a combat bracelet, which is by far the best 
best thing to put in my glove slot. Hey, I actually got a crafting level from this. You get like barely any crafting XP, so it's really cool to see that. 45 construction, unlocking probably one of the final rooms that are actually useful to me, which is the chapel. Let's go build it real quick and completely destruct the cash stack. All right, I think that's the best way to arrange it. All right, so once again, I need more oak planks to build that altar. That's gonna... I need so many oak planks. Oh my... 46... So, as you can see, I only have 9.4 kgp. Um... This is a problem, because I can't even buy back my Ivandis Flail in order to make more money. So, what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm going to gear up for some Tarn's Lair hunting. Uh, hopefully I can just camp the zombies for either a Rune Warhammer or a Rune Battle Axe, and then I can sell that buy the Avandis Flail, and camp Virewatch for more money. That was so quick. Oh, there it is. Rune Battle Axe. All right, we are out of here. So yeah, if you didn't know, you can buy back your Avandis Flail for 20k. You can also remake it, but this is much more convenient of a process. Oh my, my literal first kill. My first Firewatch kill back. That is incredible. Thank you. Very important moment. Let's do it. 70 defense. Look at that, dude. Oh, of course I get Blood Tithe. There go my prayer points, but... We can finally wear the helmet as soon as I get that thing repaired, I can put it on. That is so hype. That was one of my goals for the episode, so I think I'm going to focus on strength. All right, I think we're done. That is all we need. These are so incredibly underrated. I love it. Thank you. Two rune legs, one rune full hand. That is all it takes. I've been here for maybe about 10 minutes. Oh, I knew that would happen. There we go. 41 magic. That is the level I've been looking for. I slowly got it through teleports. But now I can finally use Wind Blast, so we are set for Barrows whenever we go back. I can just use my Death Runes and my Air Staff, that is fantastic. I got a Maze Random and I would feel really bad not using these Chaos Runes, so I'm just gonna cast on the Afflicted for a while, and then we'll be back to construction. The final stretch, man, 51 construction, we are getting so incredibly close. I'm excited. I've been waiting, dude. I've been waiting. This means I'm I'm only gonna be one lamp away after this. Three XP away from two hunter. After building three thousand fireplaces and several hundred bookshelves, fifty three construction has been finished. Took a little over thirty hours. Uh, really not that bad. I love it, man. It's finally finished, and I can go grab my oak planks. And that is the final thing that I need in order to make this repair stand and finally wear that helmet. Oh my God, that was so quick. Okay, we've already got one oak plank, one down, seven to go. Yeah, this, we need seven, it's gonna take a while. But there's one done. Uh, I think this is a better area to do it in because there are two zombies. There is the giant skeleton that is kind of annoying, but once you de-aggro, it's actually really nice to camp here. Look at it, oh, it's beautiful. That is impeccable timing as we get plank number four. Plank number five. Oh, it has been a long time since I've seen that thing on the ground. Before my inventory gets way too filled up with planks, I'm going to quickly make the wooden shelves. So I'm gonna buy some regular planks uh, because my inventory is soon gonna be way too full to do that. So let me just do that real quick. All right, gotta make some soft clay as well. Oh, this is content. All right, this is clearly the best format for a kitchen. All right, first things first, let's build these shelves. And uh, for some reason, I thought you had to upgrade through all the tiers, but it turns out you only need to build straight like just the one you want. So that's great. And there we go. Wooden shelves three completed, and we can now search them for all of the above. So to make tea, I also need somewhere to get water from. So I think I'm going to just build the regular pump and drain. And then I also need a range. So I'm going to need a ton of steel bars. 37 smithing. All right, let's just build the pump and drain because I really don't need anything better. And that actually works out perfectly because I can also build myself a fancy range here. Ooh, it's so clean. I love it. And one final thing is I also need a larder to get tea leaves from. So this is going to be the final thing that I need to build in my kitchen. And then we've got, yeah, so we now have a fully kitted out kitchen. That's awesome. I can get tea or milk from here. Oh, another plank. It's amazing. Plank number seven. Oh, we're getting so close. There's only one more. I have killed probably about 700 zombies, I want to say so far. Oh my God. It's done. It is finally done. After like close to 800 zombies, I believe in total. The melee stats got a ton of work on them as well. I'm base 71s currently. Strength is pretty close, attack is pretty close, so. Let's go build this stand, dude. I am so hyped. All right, let's make some tea. I don't even know if I need the milk, but I'll take it anyway. I have no idea how to make tea in this game, but I think I just poured at this point. 
Yeah, we made tea in RuneScape. That's going on the resume. I, you know, I guess if you count making all the nails and stuff, I've been waiting for this moment for about 35, 40 hours, so... I gotta, I gotta savor it a bit here, okay? Let's drink the tea. Let's build it! Yeah, I savored it. There it is. We're done. Armor repair stand has been made. That is so freaking satisfying. All right, let's move over to uh, to off building mode. Oh, there we go. Now now it's looking clean. I love it. So the thing is, is I don't even have enough money to repair this thing. I'm pretty sure I need like 50k. 48.9, yeah. So the smithing level actually determines how much you pay. Every two smithing levels makes a difference. So I do have an odd smithing level. So the next one would make a difference. Uh, but yeah, 48.9k. It's what I need to repair this thing, so I will go get some money. Uh, I guess I can buy back the Avandis Flail, so that works. There we go, the rune leg drop. That's all we needed. So I don't think this is, yeah, it's not going to be enough, but I can also sell the rune full helm because I'm going to be maining the DH helm now, so we now have enough. This is a huge move for the blue cape season of Swampletics. Let's repair the helmet for 49k. Oh my god. Oh my god goodness guys this oh i can't i can't contain myself i'm just, he's so dreamy oh my goodness look at him with the repair stand done there are so many different possibilities with gear now oh this blue cape season is looking fantastic man you may have noticed something if you were paying close attention my hunter level is two and there's a very good reason why I didn't show this in the video. This 10 month waiting period for 27 might not be 10 months anymore. The next episode will focus on discovery, exploration, and pushing the limits of mechanics, and finding out just what else Mauritania has to offer us.